In this video, we will take a closer look to 4D and 5D simulations that can be created with VDC Explorer. Usually, you want to create 4D or 5D simulations to show how the project site changes in time and in addition, you want to show also how the costs will be accumulating in time. For 4D or 5D studies, analysis, you use Schedule and Scheduler tool. You need to assign to each of your object or object group some time value, meaning how much time it takes to demolish or to build that particular object or object groups. After assigning a time value, you have created a animation and then you can show that animation to different partners. As you see, during an animation you will see that some model parts will be demolished to have a space for new structures. You also can freely navigate during this animation and you will see step by step how this project site evolves in time. But as you also see, when I come back to the beginning, also in here we have cost included. Cost of course will increase in time because we will simulate a total project cost in time. But in addition, you can see also simple graphs how your cost is cumulative in time. For that, you use Schedule Cost Graph and it is also dynamic view, meaning that you can freely navigate and see also changes in your project as during simulation. You can pick if you want to see a cumulative cost or current cost. In that way, you have additional information available for different project partners or to stakeholders or local authorities or to public. Creating 4D and 5D simulations is really easy and you can also import those groups and costs using Microsoft Project Data. Of course, you then need to assign to different project costs different objects groups in VDC Explorer. When you create your 4D and 5D simulations, you normally keep an eye in here, in that small table, but you can easily enlarge this table. As you can see, from here we see different costs for different groups or objects. And we can also include if this will be a new construction part or maybe it will be demolished and removed. Keep in mind that you can easily create 4D and 5D simulations with temporary objects. For example, you may want to consider that your project site is in order and every and each resource is used in most economical way. 